Whoa, it's the illusion. Book reviews. Book reviews. This is number book review number two. It's a little torn up from Baby Owl. Baby Owl, when he saw this book, was just like mesmerized by the cover. See, it's sort of like got that metallic glaze on it, dude. And that sort of woven pattern, dude. When I first broke out this book, it was like eye candy for Baby Owl. So he's fascinated by this book. Maybe it's the fluorescent orange. So uh, the circle... Fiction. It's a fiction book, but it's, you know, it's right up there with George Orwell's 1984. It's all about this fictional character gets this job at essentially like Google or something. And it's all about how this, this uh, social media conglomeration is closing the circle on the human experience and getting everybody plugged in to the web or social media and everyone basing their life on their standing in social media about how many tweets and likes and hearts and this and that they, they generate in a day. And, and, you know, I think we're pretty, it's pretty, it was a very interesting read because as a guy who's fully involved with social media in a weird way, like I, I, put my information out there, but I'm not that active on the other side. Like I don't do a lot of commenting and sharing and, and checking other people's stuff out. Like I just upload, dude, I'm an uploader. I'm not a downloader, you know, I'm an output, not an input. And so this character goes on to be like the first person to wear like the camera and broadcast. It's called going clear to broadcast her whole life 24 seven. And, uh, which I thought was interesting because I, I, you know, I do it to a certain degree, seven minutes at a time. Right. And, uh, scary dude, <laughs> because they're already doing this over in China. Like basically it's like a credit score. You know, you got your credit score. Those of you who don't have credit, like don't sweat it, man. But those of us who do have credit, you know, you get a credit score and the higher your credit score is like the better off you are for like doing something that you might need credit for. And, uh, but over in China, Facebook and Google and all these guys have kind of gotten it going where China does like a social media credit score. We're like, so as, as a person who's anti-federal government, like, right, I'm an anti-government kind of guy, dude. I'm not down with Clinton, Obama, Trump, any of them, dude. I'm an anti-federal government guy. If you had me on, in Facebook, you would definitely lose points under the Chinese model. You wouldn't want me to be I have one of your Facebook friends. You wouldn't want to be following my YouTube channel or following me on Instagram because like, you know, I'm not down with the status quo, right? So this book's about that is like maintaining your social presence and this corporation's basically getting everybody in on the, it's called the circle, closing the circle. And it's all about this girl who gets works at this corporation and they close the circle in it. And it's about like her ex-boyfriend and her parents and stuff are like, we're not down with this. And the one boyfriend tries to escape in the hills I'm not going to be a spoiler here, dude. All I'm going to tell you is it's a well-written novel. It's a page turner. It's this weird novel where you jam through the whole thing, but there's not a big crescendo, if you will. There's not a huge, like, thing. It just sort of morphs into, like, this new cyber reality, dude. It, it's a creepy book, man. It's super creepy, dude. And and it's right, you know, it's it's right up there with, with 1984, except it's way more just right now. Like, if you don't read this book in the next, like, year, I don't know if it's going to be relevant because it's already going to be in the past. But it's it's a cautionary tale, man. Like, we're, we're doing it every day. We are, we are launching ourselves into the cyber circle and we're going to become slaves to it if we're not careful and we really really probably need to like stop participating in social media on one level or another like you know i don't 
like face bag or hate book, whatever you want to call it. Like, God, man, like I, uh, the less and less I deal with that, the better. It's just a drag, dude. Like nothing good's going on in Facebook. And it's amazing how that's changed in what, five years just to become this controlled, contrived social media network where like you have to, you have to be part of the, the left thing or you're the enemy kind of thing. It's, it's fascinating to watch, but it's also, you know, it's, it's weird. Like it's a quicker source. Like I got a couple people that are right wing and left wing that, that are on Facebook and, and I see where their, their posts are and I know what's going on out there. Cause it's somewhere <laughs> in their disinformation dude is the real information but i know that someone breaking news is happening because i don't watch television or anything but i do click on and see what's going on on facebook just because like if anything's going on out there man it's going to be on facebook before it's on anywhere else and sometimes facebook is the breaking news which is scary scary and, you know, like, I've even begun to fade on Instagram. There's way too many ads on it, man. It's like every other post is some sponsored fucking post. Excuse me. So, you know, I'm fading on Instagram, too. And Twitter, dude, I, I can't believe our society has turned into this 140-character Twitter society. Like, when you have presidential candidates talking about their Twitter feed. Like that's scary, dude. And everything goes through Twitter. Like Twitter's got like, huh? Huh? The, the, it's, it's for children, dude. As far as I'm concerned, like, like social media is like sort of like a sophomoric approach to human interaction. Like, yeah, I can roll with it. Cause like I'm a child at heart. Like, there's a certain voyeuristic aspect of it all that I, I'll participate in. But like Twitter, I, I can't, I don't understand Twitter. I, I just really, again, I don't understand Twitter. I just, my stuff goes to Twitter, dude. I, I have no idea. And I've been, try, I've been trying to figure out Twitter since I signed up for it in the beginning. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. And maybe I just don't care to get it. Maybe I'm just being caught, caught behind the tidal wave of, social media and that's what this book's about man it's this fictional tale that that's right there about like the psyche of of what it is to be a human and and where we're heading and and i don't see us heading to a good place if if our information's based upon facebook and twitter i'm gonna hype the no agenda podcast though here at the end of it because we're talking a little social media the no agenda podcast is rad it just deconstructs the news with clips, with audio clips. It's it's genius and they're pretty funny. The, the two dudes who run the thing. I'm gonna hype No Agenda podcast here at the end. I'm also gonna hype this book by David Edgar. It's called The Circle. I would go out and read it, man. It is a social commentary for this time. And I think, I don't know if it's gonna change anything, but it definitely, puts it into perspective so uh that's the illusion loving books i love reading kill your television as quick as you can just just go and just launch it into the street dude and have your neighbors do it and if all your people on your block all formed a giant TV pile in the middle of your street to keep the kooks and the federal government out. You get to know your neighbors and there is the revolution. Get to know your neighbors. But first you gotta have dinner with your family. It's the illusion out.